On today's Daily KHL Update, Red Army marches forward. Spartak with some last-minute heroics and an emotional win for Locomotive on the road. All that and more on today's Daily KHL Update. Jonas Anderson and Torpedo visit Jan Lasik and Spartak Moscow. We pick it up in the second. Mikhail Tilepkin puts it on net. Martin Thornburg tips it. Rebound and he scores. 1-0 Torpedo. Thornburg scores his 23rd of the season. His career high is 25 with HV71 back home in Sweden. Final seconds of the third. Oleg Petrov passes it to Nikolai Bushua from behind the net. Scores with 6 seconds left and Bushua ties it up. What a play by Petrov. That's experience right there. Bushuev scores his ninth of the year and third in two games. This guy is red hot. Overtime, Spartak on the power play. Stefan Ruzicka aims, shoots, scores. Cheaters! Spartak wins it in overtime. Spartak wins their second game in a row, something their fans haven't seen since early October. They got five out of six possible points in these games and keeps their flimsy playoff hopes alive. Torpedo is now tied with Minsk and Donbass for eighth in the conference. Exciting times, 2-1 OT final. Chris Holt versus Sergei Plotnikov as Donbass hosts Lokomotiv. And they need to win it. The battle for the 8th spot in the West is ferocious. 20 seconds in, Tuomas Kiskinen shoots it on net. Curtis Hanford saves it, but the puck is still loose and Vaclav Nedaros is on it first. 1-0 Donbass. It's a very important game and starts with a funny moment like this. This could set the whole game off. Five minutes later, Mark Flood puts it on net, rebound and Daniil Apalkov scores 1-1. Apalkov scores his sixth of the season. He scored four in 17 games last season in the DHL. A little later, Donbass can't clear the puck. Plotnikov passes to Alexei Kruchinin and he scores 2-1 Loco and Donbass calls timeout. Kruchinin scores his first of the season. As for timeout, did Donbass really play that bad they had to call it with just over six minutes into the first? It sure helped though. 30 seconds later, Evgeny Varlamov puts it on net rebound and Denis Kochetkov scores with tied at twos. Gotta feel for Sanford here. He allowed two goals and both of them are just so unfortunate. Late in the first, Stefan Cronwall puts it on net and it goes in 3 2 loco. Nice job by Nicholas Hagman with the screen. Cronwall scores his eighth of the season. Both played for the Toronto Maple Leafs back in the day. Midway through the second, Dmitry Kagerlitsky to Lukas Kaspar to Randy Robitaille, they score 3 3. Robitaille is getting points three games in a row now. That's his 11th of the season. Late in the second, Loco on the four check, they get the puck and they score. Sergei Plotnikov scores a go ahead goal for Loco, 4 3. Plotnikov scores his 13th of the season. Nice team effort by Loco. That's the game-winning goal. Lokomotiv wins in Ukraine and some added significance to this. Ukraine is the homeland of Daniil Subchenko, one of the players who passed away in the Lokomotiv plane crash last year. Lokomotiv wins it for him, 4-3 final. Pavel Poloetkov goes head-to-head -head with Tomasz Parpele as Boris hosts Lev. Lev needs points badly. They're just one point away from not being in the playoff spot. Lev scores first. Marcel Hosa shoots it on net. Polowetkov saves, but Thomas Jarovi scores on the rebound. 1-0 Lev. Sorova scores his ninth of the year. I'm pretty sure his team expected a little bit more than that out of him. Midway through the second now, Maxim Spiridanov feeds Viktor Alexandrov cross ice and he scores 1-1. Alexandrov scores his fourth of the season, but this play is all about the fast, really. 20 seconds later, Talgat Jailaulov dangles around Lev's defense, passes it back, Andre Gavrilin whacks it once, twice, it's stuck, no it's not, it's in, 2-1 Boris. Great play all around, some skill from Jailaulov and relentlessness from Gavrilin, awesome goal. Well, if you like that, you're gonna like this, Jailaulov to Gavrilin to Vadim Krasnoslobotsev, and it's in, 3-1 Boris. This is a pretty one, Krasnoslobotsev scores his seventh of the season. Ten minutes later, Roman Savchenko tries his luck from the blue line and scores 4-1 Boris. Pepperle thought he had it. Sorry, Tomas. That was a laser shot. Can't help it. Less than five minutes left in regulation. Krasnoslobotsev has the puck, breaks into the zone, toe drag, scores. 5-1 Boris. That's his second of the night, and it's delicious. Sometimes I have the feeling you like every goal, no matter how it goes in, Andre. 5-1 Boris final. Just a couple more scores to tell you about. Slovan takes down Avangard in the shootout. 
And in a high-scoring affair, Atlant beats Dynamo Riga 5-4. That's all for today's Daily KHL Update. I'm Steve Dangle-Glynn with Andrea Sachinka. We'll see you tomorrow.